Let's open this up. It was a dark and stormy day outside. These doors were locked. The lighter is infinite fuel, as I mentioned, so you don't have to worry about it. And the janitor can come up here, so don't feel like you're safe just because you're like, oh boy, new area! Which means we're going to use our spooky lighter to explore for a little bit. There's a document on here. Like, let me read some of these documents I've been goddamn picking up. I'm sure you guys have been seeing me picking up like a dozen documents or something, but I also need to first see if there was a fix to the document thing, because I do want to be able to read the full documents. I'm picking up stuff left and right, and I'm like, oh, I want to read them. But I can't quite yet, because the game's like, oh, we have a bug right now, where you, for some reason you can't scroll down on the documents, but that's okay. I guess. I, in fact, I'm going to look right now just to make sure that, like, it's not solved yet or something. Let me refresh. Updates confirmed that it is a bug. I honestly know, Ray, what should I do on the game without the documents, but I hope the devs fix it soon enough. Okay. Hopefully they solve it soon, then. I'll just read what I can at the moment. Part of me wants to wait to read these so I can read everything, but... Ghost Tree. Mia Hune quickened her step towards the classroom. Whatever sunlight there was had now... What's that sound? Had now completely disappeared. And the school was covered in darkness. Mia Hune was annoyed with her friends. They had stopped on their way home to chat with her. Even though she was still busy cleaning, they didn't even offer to help and just left her on her own when they ran out of things to talk about. This made me hoon uneasy as why high school. What the fuck is this sound? Is it like the original? But I don't recognize the sound. It's just music? A woman locked in the closet. Tae Hoon was serving detention again. He was made to write an essay to apologize for being someone up that afternoon. The real problem Tae Hoon had was that he was the only one being punished. He suspected that his that the boy he fought was a wealthy family. Look, actually, I have my controller plugged in. Can I control? Oh fuck my life! I, okay, I can read these by using the controller. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna fucking read all these documents just because I figured out I can use the fucking controller thing to read them. So here we go. Temporary solution. Let's read everything. Magazine pickup instructions. This notice is from the student body. If you haven't received the school magazine, please come back on the, or please pick up your copy at Junior Homeroom 6. New and transfer students are especially encouraged to get a copy as it contains information about the school and school map. Maybe it's because I have a controller plugged in. Maybe that was causing it. You know what? I'm going to try that later. I'm going to try launching the game with a controller not plugged in and see if it works like it's intended. But that's still a bug to fix. Maybe the bug is that for some reason everything else works fine, but these documents don't scroll correctly if you have a controller plugged in. That might be the issue. Anyways, let's see. Notice for maintenance. New installation notice. To avoid constant replacement of the locks keys used in the school, we have purchased a machine that can combine and assemble keys and have placed it in the workshop. We asked the facility management to train all involved parties on the usage and maintenance of the machine. Combining instructions. Put two small keys in the tray. Pull the lever to combine the keys. You cannot combine a key that has already been combined. Disassembly instructions. Put a combined. This is a new puzzle because I do not remember disassembling and reassembling keys in the original White Day. Disassembling instructions. Put a combined key on the tray. Pull the lever to disassemble the key. Wait, are these those machines I've been passing the whole entire game? Like, what are these? Well, we're, we're, oh, never, it says a specific room. It says the workshop room. I should look where that is on the map. So we asked the facility. So yeah, I need to look for the workshop. Put a combined key on the tray. Pull the lever to disassemble the key. The current keys to the mailboxes throughout the school will be replaced with combined keys. Thank you for your attention to this matter. This is a... Okay, so I know this is an old school horror game, but this is such an old school horror excuse. Like, these people that get so specific about their keys. Like, you know what? I think our school system doesn't just need keys. I think we need combined keys so people can deassemble and reassemble some new keys for the school. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. That, that, let's get all the students in on this. You can only enter the classroom if you assemble the two keys together to form the right key. If you want to disassemble a key, just go to the tray and pull the lever, and then you can put the two keys back together. There you go. Fucking it's great system. Let's go, students. I didn't read all the notes yet. Uh, Facility Management Request Slip. Facility Maintenance Request Slip. Submitted by Faculty Office Head Teacher. Requested for to Facility Maintenance Department. 
Request, there's a creaking noise coming from the third floor hallway in the front of the music room and the building too. Well, that was loud already. There's a creaking noise coming from the third floor hallway in front of the music room in the main building too. We suspect the wooden boards are worn out. There's a risk of it coming completely loose, endangering the students. It is urgent that the board is repaired as quickly as possible. So there's like a board. This is telling me that in front of this door, there's a board which probably has something under it. I'll try to remember to read this document to remind me of that later, so if people can keep this in mind. We're not in Main Building 2, we're currently in Main Building 1, but when we get to Main Building 2, there's a creaking board in front of the music room, which is probably a board that we can pick up and find something underneath, probably. Now then, let's go through. Notes. Building maintenance status. As of March 9th, the installation of light fixture next to the workshop is scheduled to be completed by tomorrow. Please make sure to tidy up all tools and ladders after their use. The wiring of the workshop is currently under repairs. The workshop, that one room? Wait, wait a second. The workers, please do not close the steam valve, the ventilation window. I don't need to look for the... I'll look in just a second when I'm finished reading. No, no, I'll look now. The workshop, is that the one room I was in earlier? Is there a key deassembler in there? I did not see a key deassembler in there. I can say that much. Alright, back to reading documents. A note from class president. Beyond take him. Because of you, the chemical solvent was taken from me by the teacher. I think he's mad about the time you were fooling around and spilled it all over the garden and killed the trees. What am I supposed to do now? I have chemistry class tomorrow. You have to take care of this. You can either go and beg him, or if you aren't chicken, go get it yourself from the gym storage room safe. By the way, the kids say that he's very forgetful, so he hides the medals. He's won in the storage room and uses them as the passcode for the safe. So, okay. This is a solution to a puzzle, probably. So, he's forgetful, so he hides the medals he's won in the storage room. He uses the so, I when I'm in the storage room... I need to get. I need to look at some medals to get a passcode for a safe. And the passcode. I, I found a safe that needed a passcode just a little bit ago. What room was that in? I, I don't remember. I was just kind of running through. Wherever there was a safe that needed a passcode. I remember that much. Lighting repair work on the first building or the first floor of the main building. The workshop's wiring will be a larger job than anticipated. The repair calls for more extensive construction work. Removal of the ventilation connected to the workshop, home economics room, and the bathrooms will be necessary. Installation engineer's note. Installation engineer's note. The pre-existing wiring is twisted and the metal wires are seriously corroded. It'll take a few more days to fix this mess. The cause of the corrosion is unknown. If the corrosion leads to an overload, thus triggering the alarm to go off, it can be shut down temporarily by connecting the third and fourth sockets. I don't have any rumors yet. I'm not that sort of gossiping gal. <laughs> so, my favorite notes in the original White Day were the ghost stories. And these are involved, obviously, with ghosts that you can meet in the game. We haven't really met any ghosts yet outside of the one that sort of jump scares you or something, but yeah, yeah. There's the big green work table, it's funny looking, so I remember it. Alright, I'll look at that to see if I can disassemble keys later. A long time ago, there used to be a small pond between the main building and the auditorium. They say the pond was created by a bomb during the war and had obliterated a refugee tent and had been, that had been pitched there. Obviously, every refugee in the tent died. It was said that the bottom of the pond was tainted red with their blood. There is another story about the pond as well. If you write you to your crush, asking them to come to the pond and they show up, you'll live happily ever after with them. A warning, though. If your crush doesn't show up, then you will die by the pond's curse. To some, a quiet and shy student had a crush on an older student named Chen Yale. Chen Yale? Her crush deepened, and she couldn't deal with her longing anymore. She finally decided to write a letter to Chen Yale, and wait at the pond, but her letter never made it to him. The letter passed through many hands, but somewhere down the line it got lost. Dasam had no idea that her letter was never delivered, and waited for him all night at the pond's edge. The cold night spent by the pond caused her to come down with serious fever, and she had to miss school for quite some time. After Dasam narrowly recovered, she returned to school, and even quieter and more timid than before. Her friends tried as much as they could to console her, but she ended up transferring to a different school. It was only a few days later that her body was found floating in the pond. It is said that on the night with a waning moon, a ghost appears who silently looks at you from outside the building. To say that the water-bloated ghost with eyes gleaming wildly underneath dripping wet hair searches for the boy who has, has her letter. I smell something burning, so I'm going to check the kitchen for a second. I am back. Apparently somebody was cooking hot dogs, but... I I don't know why they smell burned. Maybe they just like burnt hot dogs. 
Check this. Reading some things. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's get back into this. I'm actually having a lot of fun so far, so that's a good thing. Though I've got more to read here. You guys can still see the screen and all that, just gonna make sure before I read the next note. Last two notes we have to read are Ghost Tree and a Woman Locked in the Closet. Feed us. Alright, that means let's continue with Ghost Tree. Ghost Tree. Mi Hyun, if I'm even saying that remotely correctly, quickened her steps towards the classroom. Whatever sunlight there was had now completely disappeared, and the school was covered in darkness. Mi Hyun was annoyed with her friends. They had stopped on their way home to chat with her, even though she was still busy cleaning. They didn't even offer to help and just left her on her own when they ran out of things to talk about. This made Mi Hyun uneasy as why high school was full of scary rumors. To make matters worse, she found the echoing of her own footsteps quite nerve-wracking. Her anxiety grew even more when she saw the potted plant in the corner of the hallway. This plant used to belong to her homeroom teacher last year. It reminded her of him and what happened that year. Her homeroom teacher, Mr. B, taught Chinese. He was quiet and had a thin build. He gave off a sad vibe. He wasn't friendly at all, not even trying to connect with his students or fellow teachers. He did, however, seem interested in maintaining his plants. He took extra care in the plants of uh, 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 he took extra care in the plan of his homeroom, junior homeroom two. He cared for his plant so much that he checked on it during every class break. Then one day, a student accidentally dumped chemical solvent on Mr. B's favorite tree. The tree turned black and shriveled up completely. Afraid of the repercussions, the students replaced the tree and decided to burn the old one. Even his friends were in on his plan. Together, they moved the dead plant to the incinerator and lit it on fire. The dead tree easily caught fire and was soon burning with billowing black smoke. When the flames grew more intense, a scream was heard. It was the burning tree was scre it was like the burning tree was screaming out in pain. That's when Mr. B came running. Watching his favorite tree burning made him go crazy. Before anyone could reason with him, he dashed into the open flames to be with his favorite tree in the fire. Both Mr. B and the tree were engulfed in flames in a matter of seconds. No one spoke. Everyone was in shock from what they had just observed. Judging from the matching statements from the students involved, the police decided that was a case of suicide by delusion. Mi Hyun was there that day at the incinerator. That's why every time she saw a plant Mr. B used to care for, it made her shiver. She normally made an effort to not pass through where the plants were. She would have walked away around it too, and uh, she would have walked around it today too if she wasn't in such a hurry. Mi Hyun tried hard to calm herself down when she saw a light in the nearby homeroom. She heard someone moving in there, too. Scared of being left alone in the dark building, she was happy to see there was someone else in the school. She quickly opened the classroom door, but what she saw was the back of a man in front of a plant. Mi Hyun froze in terror when she realized what she was seeing. This was her homeroom from last year, junior homeroom too. The man slowly turned around and faced Mi Hyun, who was holding a dog's corpse with its belly ripped open and its other hand was covered in blood. Behind him, Mihyun could see that the blood and organs were covering the leaves and stems. He slowly approached Mihyun and said, Oh good, I was running out of food for my tree. And a woman locked in the closet. A woman locked in the closet. Daehyun was serving detention again. He was made to write an essay to apologize for beating someone up that afternoon. The real problem Daehyun had was that he was the only one being punished. He suspected that the boy he fought was from a wealthy family. Taehoon knew the faculty coordinator was corrupt enough to take bribes. Unlucky day, he thought. His arms felt like it was going to fall apart from all the riding he did. To top it off, he was also hurting from the fight. The other students couldn't beat him fair and square, so he had grabbed a broom and swung it at Taehoon. It was at that moment that Taehoon had taken away the broom that the faculty coordinator showed up. Because of that, Taehoon ended up getting beaten even more. Thinking about everything that happened made him angry again. He tried to calm himself down and was determined to beat up the boy as soon as he came to school tomorrow. Suddenly, he heard a clattering sound in the closet behind him. It sounded like a mouse was trapped inside. Since the building was very old, it wasn't rare to find a mouse in school. He tried to ignore it and concentrate on writing his essay, but the clattering sound continued. 
Again, agitated, Taehoon violently threw open the closet doors. What he found was not a mouse. There were rumors that a ghost's head had been seen flying out of the closet. There were also rumors that male students had been found inside the closet with their bodies crushed and mangled. The teachers tried to contain it, but the story spread like wildfire. According to rumors, the school was used as a concentration camp for political prisoners during the occupation. Many people died here after being tortured with the dishonor of being labeled traitors. One of the tortured souls included a woman who was arrested on behalf of her husband, who dodged conscription during the war. She was tortured viciously to reveal the whereabouts of her husband, but kept her silence. In the end, they locked her up in a specially designed closet where she could neither lie nor sit. She died slowly in agony, without being able to move. It was after the war ended that her corpse was recovered. It is said that they had difficulty putting her body in a coffin because her neck and knees were bent stiffly at odd angles. Students believe that her ghost still wanders around in the halls of the school. It is said that if you open a closet at night, she will stick out her twisted neck to claim her next victim. Alrighty. That was a lot to read in. I'm going to catch up the chat for a second because that was me reading through everything for a second. I mean, the ghost dad is trying to give us... Of course, the school is not going up to you. Holy crap. To roll with and go with. So that's that. Let's get back to this. And since I've been reading so much, now I'm back out of the swing of the game. I was just trying to get used to the janitor just for a little bit there. There's all these locked things. I'm wondering if I can actually open them or not. Can I open some things. Oh, there's something there. Tranquilizer. Eases your mind when you're nervous. Use it will calm yourself down. So that's when I'm like, my heart's racing at certain moments. Which is in fact a mechanic in this game. Let's open this up. Handprints. So this is in the corner. Bloody workbook. A math workbook with bloody marks. A bit creepy in here, honestly. <laughs> to make sure I'm not like missing anything. Hopefully, the janitor's not outside. This is my main concern at the very moment. Though, given even if he is, I could probably escape because now we've got more room to maneuver in this building because this whole floor is open now. And also, that means he could be on a different floor so I can explore and do some things. Turn my lighter off. I seem to be okay. Let's see through this. There's another strange plane. It's a weird looking tree. And there's a clock here. I've been playing this game for over an hour. I know, because the time thing there tells me. That's how you can sort of tell in this. Alright, let's open up this. Nothing underneath. Okay. Again, the clock moves in real time from 10 o'clock inside the game. It's not like I'm not playing this game at 11 o'clock, but it's been an hour since I start, because the clock starts at 10. Oh fuck, I saw it! This is her homeroom. Well, school coin. I wonder if he could see through the windows, like I can maybe see him. That's locked, I'm hearing some fun whispering at the moment. These doors are also locked. What's this? Is that her or is that just music? I don't know. I really don't. I'm going to assume it's music because I heard a sound then, which I think is her. That's an interesting little picture. Is there any other pictures I'm missing? Huh. Just appreciating the art. What's another drawing? Sai. Does this mean so young? I need to look out for more of those drawings. So let me not run through here. 
Instead, see if I can look and see more art. I feel like I need to see a certain amount of art in order to trigger her path. I, I'm not sure if I really want to trigger her path, but it'd be interesting. Because that's a new path. I, I'm kind of okay with whatever path I end up on. This is my first time playing any of the versions of the remake. So, yeah, yeah. And the music just disappeared. It was just having a good time for a little bit. Alright, so that's some art there. Keep my eyes open for other sketches. Like, that's the sketch I just found. That's just the wind. I don't know what that sound is. <laughs> that looks like concept art for the original game. I don't know what that sound was. It could just be a sound. It just could be trying to spook me. Or it could be something more. That's the fun with games like this. I don't know if it's trying to spook me or if it's actually something at this point. So since there's a lot of ghosts, I certainly haven't met yet. I'm getting some really dramatic angles of that. Yeah, that is definitely art from the original game. Like, hey, look! It's a picture of me! In the game. What, what, what a coincidence. I mean, why did they form a cult audience since that, really, so... Let's go from there. It's a weird-looking tree. Did they remove the bucket? I feel like that was the bucket hallway, and there was no bucket. Huh. Okay, a small coin. I can buy Ramo and I find another vending machine. That's locked. Fuck, that rattling just fucking spooked me for a second. These doors seem to just be closed all together. That needs a key, which I don't have. I could go through there, but I want to explore a little bit more. What the fuck was that? It's a weird looking tree. Well, turning that off, let's continue going this way. Probably was the janitor might show up pretty soon, I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous when I'm in big open areas like this, because, you know, he could just come wandering through here. Again, he's not scripted. He could just come wandering through these parts randomly. Okay. Nothing there. Anything here? Negatory. Nothing these. Crickets. Okay. Please don't be outside when I open this door. Okay. There's a sound. I'll open. You can like hide right there directly if you wanted to, but alas, alas, what kind of sound does it make? It's a hungry looking tree too, yeah. I'm just gonna back out as I was just catching up the chat for one moment. <laughs> we can tell scary, spooky ghost stories. Once upon a time, there was a girl locked in the toilet, like you, you tell from this one. There was a girl locked in a toilet. He has some interesting idle animations. That guy looks to the left and the right when you're just standing there. What does that sound, though? Whatever the case. Oh, wait, what? There's a cool coin here. A what? Oh, it just. Did I get. I. That, what? I think I might have just been duped. There was a school coin there, but disappeared. I was able to grab it. Okay. There's a creepy sound I'm hearing. You hear it. It's like right here. Let me go to the other bathroom. Maybe it's like a clue for a hidden ghost. Please don't have the janitor outside. I mean, I guess if he was here, I could just hide in the bathroom stall right now. 
What is that sound? Oh, it's that thing that was outside. <gasps> Fuck my life! Okay, <laughs> I didn't expect him to be there right now. Should I close that? Fuck, I knew I was gonna get hit there. I've made good progress, I don't wanna lose it now. Fuck my life, fuck my life. <laughs> I can't lose him like this. I need to heal. I've got no choice here. I opened up a lot of stuff behind me. If I can turn around and chase, get him backwards, I'll be fine. Alright. Not there. Let's get my healing items. Tranquilizer. Easy to your mind nervousness and calm me down. Okay, I'm asking... This is probably what I need to use right now because I'm, I'm really on the run here. Deep breath. <laughs> See, if I can start closing doors behind me while I run, while I do this, the tranquilizer is so I can regain my stamina, because I kind of need to if I want to escape this thing alive. Oh, that fucking light figure there just fucking scared me. See? My plan worked. The problem is he closes the doors behind him, so I have to reopen them while I'm on the run. Oh, fuck! <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, does that sound something in there? It was, just not what I wanted it to be. So what's this creepy sound coming from over here? Whatever, I'm gonna progress a little bit. Is there no place for me to save, though? Look, Mr. Son, I have temporarily locked the front door, lobby's door, because some kids are sneaking into the auditorium passageway that's been shut down. If you need the key, you can find it in the key box of the main office. I love the password inside the toolbox that we always use. Okay, so I need one of the keys, so if you need the key, you can find it in the key box in the main office. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy. The stamina is actually... I really thought it was about to kill me there. I'm gonna try something to get rid of him if I possible. I'm going to the goddamn vending machine. Oh boy, I do need health items. Hard is harder than I thought it was gonna be. Living life on the edge. On one side, I think I should save right now, but on the other side, I'm like, no, Ryan. You can't save yet. That is white day straight up concept art. Well, actually, while I'm down here, I want to make sure I didn't like miss any art through here. Take the opportunity. So this is just me making sure there wasn't like art or something that I missed here. That creates spooky wind sounds. I don't know what those are for, if anything. Any other drawings right now? I mean, there's this piece of art there. But I kind of want to get caught again, so I'm trying to hurry up a little bit. But also, this is my one chance right now to check this. So that's why I'm like doing both at the same time.
I don't even know what that is. Okay. You know, I'm gonna be a dummy, because this is gonna bite me in the ass later. I'm gonna do like three things. I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna buy myself a goddamn thing to eat. One, two, three. Get myself for one of these instant lunchboxes. Some lunchbox being full gives you energy and puts you in a good mood. How many more coins do I have? <clears throat> um, I have one more coin, which means I should save them. For more ramen. Now, I'm actually going to go inside here, because this was the workbench. That's the thing which makes the key stuff happen. Okay, so I'm going to do two things. I'll go to my backpack, eat some ramen. Happy I ate that, because I'm still not even fully healed. <laughs> the enemies on this difficulty hurt you a lot. But this is the workbench, which means this is where I can, like, put keys apart. <laughs> this is the machine, then. I didn't notice this before. Love is merely madness. Why did you even say that? So I can deassemble and reassemble a key with this. I did not notice this before, but now I see it. So I can deassemble and reassemble keys. Of course, I think I only have like one key. Main glowing one central key. I don't have two keys, and I don't think this is a combined key, so. Yes, not for the moment. Fuck it. I'm getting an idiot. Because I'm going to buy myself some soy. Some soy. Buy myself some soy. Not going to use it immediately. I'll deal with this blood splatter for a little bit. I'm going to go save my game, though, with some additional soy. The rain got a lot harder since I last looked outside. You know when it was raining gently just a little bit ago? It's a full-on downpour right now. Now here's the problem with what I just did. Because I'm going to 100% run to the custodian somewhere between here and then. I'm going to stupidly save my game link because I've got limited save files. I'm going to save here though. It's stupid probably that I'm saving here. But Hard is hard, and maybe it'll get easier later. Some horror games get easier later. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see how this goes. But it's really pouring down. The problem is, there's only so much distance. Like, me and the janitor are probably going to run into each other. Probably. Also, keeping eyes out for any like drawings on the walls, I might miss. I'm looking really hard for them, but see, like there right now, it's not around this corner at least right now. I'm keeping the doors open. Okay, that's not him. That's the one thing. So he's upstairs right now. There's like no question about it. I'm guessing this is locked. It's a nice area to be locked in, though. I need to collect the second thing there, but I opened this earlier, so he must have come through here. Oh boy. Finding the doors closed is actually scaring me more than if they were open, because I know that means he's been here. The bright side is I can look through windows to make sure he's not in like my immediate future. Like right now. Probably in the restroom location. Then. Or he could have been checking the classroom, but I find that unlikely. He has to be over here. I'm going to try hiding in the restroom if he is over here. See if that works somehow. Boy, oh boy. Light like day concept art. I don't see him over there. So, yeah, there's no way he's not here. Unless Chris he was inside one of the classrooms I passed by. I've been in a classroom. He does go inside the classroom, so. 
That's why I'm even bringing up that possibility. Oh, this needs a key? Oh boy. I say oh boy because I don't know where the other, where the key is. Well, time to become Detective Ryan for a bit. You know, when he first found me, I should have just run back into the bathroom and hid in a stall. At least not in the bathrooms right now. I hear a sound, though. One of these. What is that sound? Why is it so creepy? Sound, why are you so spooky? I like how the camera moves a little bit with his head turning. Okay. I'm gonna open up one of these doors so I can hide if I need to. Oh, that was him, right? I think I can heal with that soybean thing I got. In there. That hurts you a lot more on this difficulty than it does on the other difficulties. Is the janitor going to be around the corner when I go out now? Why does the noise attract me over here? Is there like a key hidden here? Is this tree hiding a key? The worst part is I don't actually remember where the key is, so. Guess it's time for what I was just saying, Detective Ryan. Oh, I could have saved here, fuck. Well, at least now I know that for the future. Don't say anything there of use. Will this classroom open? Oh, you, oh, but it needs a key, of course. This, this is the story of my life right now. I see a lot of things, but they all seem to need keys. I must be missing. I must be missing something. I was gonna say, I hope he isn't in this goddamn hallway. <laughs> Maybe one of these doors are open? I'm gonna check. You know I am. Oh, that needs a key. Creepy sounds coming from behind that door, but no one needs a key. So it seems like every fourth like door panel I come across is the one that can be opened, but... And the janitor hasn't been here because the door is still open. Where the fuck is the janitor right now? That one's the exception to the rule I just established. Ryan's over here. I do not see any. Time to start looking through rooms a little bit more closely because I'm obviously missing something. In one of these rooms, I must have missed a key. Not there, evidently enough. Yeah, where the fuck is it? He's not here at the moment. Unless he's like hiding in this room. I'm about to go inside. If I was a key, and I was hiding from me, where would I be key thing in it? That is the question. I guess I turn the lights on. I don't really see anything off the top that's like, oh yeah, that's what it was all along. Right, the ladder sometimes turns off by itself. Wait! Wait! The board in front of the music room! That's what the note said! Wait, wait a second. I just The creaking board made me remember this. Where is the music room? Is this the music room? Okay, is except that was supposed to be in this building. Let me look. Is there a music room in here? Music supplies room. Yeah, there's a music Okay, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about this. 
I just have to remember there's supposed to be a creaking board. Oh, it's a drawing I miss. What was that sound I just heard? The butterfly has wings in the shape of human faces. It's a pretty drawing. And what was that sound? Did that confirm I just did something? I don't know. Rolling as we go, as we go. I'm gonna turn off this light because I'm trying to hide a little bit. I don't see anything else in this room though. Let me turn on these lights and see if I see anything. Items, I maybe only glimmer in the light? I don't know if that's true, but maybe? Well, it's not there, evidently. Let me turn off this. I'm just gonna check something. I'm gonna catch up with the chat for one second, so I'm just open up the chat. Hello, chat. How are you guys? As I'm trying to remember, not even remember it, I don't know if the keys in, I dropped my controller. I don't even remember if the keys in the same or a different location, so I'm just catching up with the chat for a second as I do this. Yeah, yeah. Fun, fun. Reading, reading. So, from what I can see, he's got his ass to beat by the janitor already. Yes, the janitor is, the janitor is hard. He has many invisible ghosts. Yep. Of course, not very bit positive buildings. Sure, is, sure gets here the first time. Upscare is getting a little redundant. Hi, all aboard. Let's see. Oh, I know the sound. It's a lot of scary old movies. There you go. Sound down for it. Ringing this. Obviously, the key was wrong, and then you ate it, obviously. Wait, what difficulty is this? We're playing on hard difficulty. Obviously, I ate the key. What, what a sh goddamn shame for me. I guess I'm going to answer this one person. Uh, I'm asking. I'm, you guys can't say because I'm in game capture mode, but I'll say the solution here. I think I found a temp solution. Temp solution. My controller can scroll the documents. Maybe the bug is by having a controller plugged in. Anyways, can scroll with the right stick of the controller. Why? What, what the fuck's going on with my screen there? Why well, wasn't paused? I thought it was paused that whole time. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm just making sure I didn't like miss anything. I'm also gonna keep this door open. What the fuck is that? There was a note that said there was a... This is the main, like, I pre... Okay, that's me walking, not him walking. For a second I thought I heard him walking. I was like, wait, is that him? There was a note I read, which I think is related to whatever I'm dealing with here. That's locked, that's locked, that's locked. Locked, locked, locked. If it was in here, I'm gonna be fucking. Ugh. Thankfully, it was not. If it was just there, I'd be like, oh. Oh. But it wasn't, so I'm fine. I read a note earlier, which was talking about something inside the main lobby. What was it? Note, note, in the janitor's mailbox. Look, Mr. Stone, I've temporarily locked the second floor lobby's door. Yeah, this is the thing. Because some of the kids are sneaking into the auditorium past this way, it's been shut down. You need the key, you can find it in the key box in the main office. I left the password inside the toolbox that we always use. Wait, the toolbox? Oh, I know what it's talking about! Okay, I know how to progress. Okay. There was a safe in here, wasn't there? Yeah, here it is. And I think I know what toolbox they're talking about. There's some good creepy sounds in this game. Problem is I haven't ran to the janitor in a while. And the doors are open, so he hasn't been through here. I don't know what he's doing. I know what I'm looking for, though. The toolbox. That's the thing that was right next to the ladder earlier. There must be a clue there to open up the safe there, which will give me the key so I can go to the second floor and open up and go through there. That's what I'm doing. I should have paid more attention to what that note said. I'm 
jumpy right now. Going from there. So the clue to what I need should be over here. Because this is the only toolbox I can think of. Aha. Uh -huh. Tool belt. A worker's tool belt. Screwdrivers of varying sizes on it. Is there a clue here? This isn't what I expected to find. Okay, wait, wait, what? I was expecting like there to be some clue there. Okay, so let me let me look at this for a second. Is it like oh is it the numbers on the back? If that if that's it, then that's kind of a weird way to do it. Would it really be the screws on the back of this though? Because that'd be like two four two four? I don't know. Oh fuck, I'm stupid. <laughs> at the very top of it. Three, one, two, six. Okay. Three, two, one, six. Got it. I'm just gonna look at that one more time just to confirm. Three, one, two, six. Got it. And now I'm probably gonna run to the janitor on my second way back. I better close turn off this light in case he comes through here again. Just be on the lookout for all that. I've got a weird relationship with this game right now. Like, I'm all at once feeling calm and also incredibly tense, which is a weird way to word this. Like, I think it's a mixture because I'm having fun and I know the game a bit, so I'm a little bit comfortable, but also I don't know it because I'm playing a remake and there's a few things that have surprised me that weren't in the original already. So I'm kind of like, hmm, don't feel too comfortable, Ryan. There's something you don't really know as much as you maybe think you do. Like, I don't even remember that last puzzle. Maybe that puzzle's new? That just shows me how much I don't remember, because I don't remember if that puzzle was in the original or not. I don't think it was. I don't remember going back to screwdrivers, but maybe it was? Also, I think it helps that I haven't seen the janitor or the ghost in a while? Okay, three, one, two, six. That actually scared me because of the timing. Three, one, two, six. I unlocked it. Building one, passageway. Main building one, auditorium, passageway key. Key that unlocks the iron door leading to the auditorium passageway. There's also a small key, red. A small key paint, red. Looks like it could be combined with other keys. Fucking pulling this combining key shit on me. You know I'm gonna do it. That's the worst part. That wasn't what I expected. The whispering means he's near me, though. That was that was the telltale because I heard the whispering last time before he showed up too. So the whispering is how you know he's nearby. Going from there. Uh, he was just coming through here. He was closing doors behind him. Fuck! And because he was closing doors, it's gonna make this harder. I have to do like a loop around here. So when you hear the whispering, that means he's nearby. It replaced the janitor keys in the original. Yeah, he was gonna kill me there, I knew it. Going from there... First year's classroom is on the third floor. Sometimes... Oh, wait, is that... Oh, I got a decent checkpoint. Where is this? What do I have in my inventory? Okay, so I don't have the keys yet, but I know how to progress. Wait a second. I'm trying to figure out what point I reloaded at. Um. Okay, I still got two of these. That's good. What notes do I have? Oh! Okay, so technically, here's something which I'm gonna say. It loaded me after I had used the last Sharpie thing. So technically, I could load my save file and I'd be further along, but I actually am gonna take advantage of this because now I know what I'm kinda doing.
because previously I didn't I used the sharpie and wasted it kind of so but now I'm at back at this point I could reload my like my manual save file but I actually think this is beneficial to me because then I keep an extra sharpie so I can save again and I know what I'm doing now so Since I've already read the documents, I'm just going to pick this up right now. Woman in the Closet story. Wait, does this also mean I have some of my healing items and stuff back? Let me look. Okay. I still have one soy thing, and I still should have all my coins. I still need to find more coins, but I, I've got coins. Yep, so I, it sent me back a little ways, but because I now know what I'm doing, I should be able to do this like a bajillion times faster, so... That's how these horror games work. You take a long time the first time and you start making big progress. Butterfly has wings in the shape of human faces. Play workbook, a math book, blah 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 marks. So, the janitor no longer has his key rename. It's now his footsteps and whispers. I'll keep that in mind. There are some key, like key audio things which are different. I'm not sure yet if I like them better or worse. I've got scared more by the janitor because he's not as obviously there. On the flip side though, I kind of like the key jangling of the old one. And I kind of like the cutting paper sound of the invisible monster more. I, I don't quite know what the sound of the new ghost is quite yet. I haven't quite put my finger on what it is yet. But I kind of think I like the old sound for the ghost better. But I might like the new janitor sounds better. If that makes any sense. Alright, three coins. I'm also a little bit sad that the bucket isn't here. If this was the hallway that was supposed to have the bucket, I don't remember. This is her homeroom. Why can I not observe that drawing? I could observe that. Oh, found the invisible ghost. <laughs> her sounds were like a. What, was there something there for a second? My lair wasn't turning on for a second. Am I crazy or was there something there for a second? Fuck. Me on this one? Okay. I'm not gonna save until after I've made some more progress on some other steps here. Oh, the janitor comes from there! I didn't realize that. I just tried opening it. Is that where he was previously? So wait, can he travel floors from there when I can't? Fuck my life. All the way over here. Unfortunately, I think I need to get the note first before I can get that. Because I don't know I need it yet. He won't spot me if I'm immediately here, so I'm just giving it a moment for him to cool down. Let's see, scratching. Don't have a heart attack protagonist so far, but. We'll roll with it. 
beginning. Is that Walter on the key to the other cat you're looking for? We'll go with that. I'm just, I want to observe all the drawings because I feel like maybe fighting her drawings is how you trigger her path. I don't know if I want to go on her path right now, but just in case, you know. I don't really know. didn't think he was there. Let's see how things go. Sneaking down the hall. Gonna open this. Hopefully he's... I can actually slightly hear his keys for once in my life. He opens this fucking door and we have a goddamn heart attack. Just standing there. I don't want to move because I feel like he'll hear me. Still. Okay, you know what? Live a little. Five, four, three, two, one. Music's not laying me up on this one. Oh, fuck. Yep. He went inside the so he sometimes goes inside the janitor areas. I'm noticing that he can switch floors there, so I guess that benefits him in some ways. I'm gonna keep this one open. Okay, so that's a mechanic I don't think was in the original White Day, but I don't really know. Wait. Oh, he's still there. You know what? I'm gonna hide in one of the bathrooms. Like, the best option I have right now. Just so if I have to go someplace, I can go there quickly. I'm just gonna hide here for a second. Really fast and hard. Let's see there. I know the stairs. The original white day I know hiding under the stairs. That's a very specific area that's not quite at this part of the game. I know what you're talking about. So yeah, yeah. I'll keep a couple of these open. Stuff to roll about there. That door was destroyed. I don't remember if there was anything important inside this restroom or not. Inside that really weird, like, loud sound there. Well, I know where I need to head to right now. Wanted the small coin. Guess the small coin wasn't meant to be, though. Dusty. Appreciate it at the very least. Like, why do you hear a super creepy sound here? I know why it's that one area, but I don't know what that sounds about yet. It could be something. It definitely could be. And now I have to go back and get the screwdriver stuff. The one of the selling points of this game is that the puzzles have some randomization stuff to them, so you don't I think I have to get the screwdrivers to actually, you know, get the wait, is there something there? No, okay, I was crazy. It was just the fire hose bit. It's a weird looking tree. I'm gonna keep these doors open for my own benefit here. I see the janitor right now. Yep! I 
to wait for him to go away. Oh my there, Britta. Write their name down for later. I'll do something about it there. Send it to me on uh, send it to me on Twitch for later there, Britta, and I'll see if I can take care of the person. Now then. <laughs> Just open that one there. Let's get through here. So either... Oh, there she was. I was trying to avoid her, not run into her. Yeah, the janitor heard that. Did he see me where I went? I think that's a yes. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> well, I was trying to hold off saving. Oh boy. It's a hard game on art. I, mean, I could have been unfortunate by luck because he didn't really rush to my door, but yeah. I... Okay, I know what I'm doing this time, though. I need, I did forgot to click the note last time, or else I could have done this a little bit faster, but get the love letter. Open up this door. Pick up that note. You oh right, you can't run with the lighter, I remember that now. Open this up. Bloody workbook. Observe this. Butterfly has wings in the shape of human faces. For a second, I thought I saw the janitor just right there. Fucking, I'm starting to see the janitor everywhere, aren't I? What's up? Felt tip marker there, so now I've got three. Got this little cutscene. This is her home room. I start hearing ghost sounds. Sigh, does this mean so young? See the janitor like down there. I might have actually. Small coin. This is the note I need to pick up. So now I've got that note, so I know what to pick up next time. Open up those two things for the near future. If I need to hide from them. Sure. And now that I have my note, I'm going to go back. I'm going to do this confidently, Ryan. I missed the note last time because I was silly, but... Let's take a nice little stroll. Stroll down on the wild side. Um, what's that in your lighter, Ryan? It's the janitor! <laughs> Obviously. The janitor was my lighter all along. I'm probably gonna run into him unless Chrissy wins inside one of his. I'm gonna call them janitor clock. <laughs> I saw it way, way too late. That actually scared me because I was like, "Ooh, what's that?" Yeah, 
Aye, aye, clock. Let's go down. This door has been closed. So I'm worried the janitor's been here. But I need to go get some screwdrivers. I'm also gonna go buy some ramen when I'm by that area. Don't immediately see him in the next hallway. I think he's inside a janitor closet right now. I don't know that, but probably. Let's see where this goes off to. All the pretty drawings. Where do they all come from? I don't know if observing the drawings does anything. I mean, like if they're trying to gain me onto the third secret path or not, but I'm looking at them. I think even if the janitor's in the janitor place, if you like shake the door, like I did that one time, he just comes out to chase you anyway, because that's what I accidentally did that one time, but yeah, yeah. This is the place where we can use the red key. Oh, the red key should combine with you. I'll come back here because I'm probably gonna I'm gonna try and look for everything I can, so you know I will. Let's put in one more coin. And now ask for a ramen meal. So lunchbox got. Is that him walking or me walking? I don't know. Oh, also, is it the same answer as like 3126? No, it's a completely different number, that's what I expected. 6243. This number this time is 624. Was it 640? It was 6243. You have 6243. I don't have to go very long, but the jazz is probably going to make me forget in between here and there. 6243. Alright. Six, two, four, three. Wandering these hallways. Six, four, two, three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, these hallways. <clears throat> Six, two, four, three. I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget. Even like the janitor shows up last second, I have to start running around or something. Time to be sneaky. Yeah, the janitor's there. Did he see me? He started running, that's why I'm concerned if he saw me. outside at the moment. He's walking away. Oh boy. Don't knock at me like that. Okay, he's on his way. few lock things I can open really soon. But he's still here whispering. Does that not mean the janitor was that mean? Are the clothes whispering? I don't know what the whispering was about. I know well, he could go inside the janitor closet, I guess, come from the top area, but just gonna take a little stroll here. I'm 
pondering if I should save my game now or if I should wait just a little bit longer. I might wait just a little bit longer. Just a little bit, though. I hope I don't regret that decision. <laughs> I very well could, though. But I do have ramen, I do have soybeans, I do have tranquilizers. And unlike the first game, the game actually pauses when you go to your inventory, so... I think the first game didn't pause when you go to your inventory. It didn't pause when you read notes, I remember that very specifically. I'm guessing this doesn't open this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some other keys for stuff like this. <laughs> I was like, why is there a light there? Fuck <laughs> my life! I was thinking when he was like outside, I was like, why is, why is the dangerous flashlight outside? And then I was like, wait a second, that's not from outside, that's from behind me! Fuck <laughs> my life. You know what, I might as well try using the red key thing that I found now. Boy, oh boy, I'm gonna start running out of stamina soon, too. I, I'm starting to learn when if you run from one side of the school to the other, when it starts taking into effect. Alright, we're gonna regain some stamina here. Fuck my life! I actually thought he wouldn't come in here! <laughs> He's like right behind me! <laughs> I was already low on stamina! Well, I guess that's not used for the key at the moment. Okay. Let my stamina regain. Okay. That could have gone a lot better. Could have also gone a lot worse, though. I just. Maybe I should save? But I feel like I can make a little bit more progress before I do. It's probably gonna be that mindset that's gonna get me killed. Wander into the next area. Oh boy, oh boy. Ramen restores both health and all your health, even. A lot more health, at the very least. And a little bit of stamina, or whatever it is, tranquilizer, whatever. I'm gonna open up this door, just get this out of the way. Well, I got a new wing of the school unlocked. I guess I could eat a soy thing right now pretty okay. You could cheat the- oh, there's something going on. That scene was actually, it wasn't bad, but it was better in the remake? And in the original? Because this room was like pitch black, except for the light there in the original. There's a left here for somebody. Why does it look so low quality from down here? But yeah, it looks fine here. Is it my vision? Might be my googly eye vision. Coin. That scene, I think, was a lot better in the original than it just was there in the remake, so... That's my opinion, though. It wasn't bad. Eh? New hallway, though. 
Very bright hallway, actually. Also, I should look for drawings on the walls. I should have done that in the last hallway, too. I'll pay attention when I go back, because I'm probably going to have to go back. My memory tells me I have to go back. Oh, there's a drawing. Okay, I was looking out for them. This is a drawing of a rat who is holding huge crutches. See? Good to be paying attention for those little drawings. There's a definite sound we're starting to hear. Well, let's go through here then. The door to the auditorium is locked. Okay, that was a bit spooky. I don't need the lights on. Try to go back though. What did I gain from this? No. Huh. Interesting, but huh. Check through here. Dandelion. Oh, hey, there's another drawing here. It's a drawing of a bird cage. There is no bird inside. I have to really be paying attention for these. I don't even know if they do anything. I'm just doing them as I can. They're surprisingly easy to miss if you're not looking out for them, though. Remarkable about this? I probably not, but I just wanted to observe. Oh wait, let me try something. Is there lights here? Oh, for a second, I thought I was a drawing. There's handprints here. Why is there like slipping sound effects coming from here? Oh Jesus! Hi? But was that hidden ghost? I feel like the lights in this hallway aren't supposed to be on. 